All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, basically, I just got to go ahead and film this video really quick. Uh, two pro videos coming out. There's the Pro B10 Fix, which has come out, and um, I will have a link in the description below that will lead you to this file as well as another description on my website, Software Reborn. So be sure to go check that out. It's softwarereborn.com. Also, follow me on Twitter for more information. I also have a blog account up on the Google blog, so you can go check that out as well. All the links are on my channel on the side panel over there. So um, you can see I'm in a different atmosphere just because people are in my bedroom watching movies. So anyways, let's get down to the chase here. So I'm going to show you step by step what we're going to have to do. So I'm going to click on my system settings here, and I'm going to scroll down and show you what firmware I'm on right now and I'm running 6.60 light ME 1.8 custom firmware so uh, file I'm gonna have you download for this video is right here it's the 6.xx pro b10 fix updaters when you download this file you're gonna double click on this or and open it up or you can right click on it and extract all your files to the subfolder that it is in which in my case it would be the desktop and you're gonna see 660, 639, 635, and 6.20 pro b10 fix folders now, judging on the type of firmware you're on, whether it be one of those, uh, for an example, I'm on 660, so I'm going to open up the 660 folder. You're going to see SE Plugins, SDK, and PSP. Open up the PSP, you'll see Game, and you'll see the Pro Update and all that. Part. Recording. <sighs> Roommates. Anyways, so um, you'll see the Pro Update and you'll see the fast recovery and the CIPL flasher. Now the CIPL flasher is used for PSP 1000 and 2000 models. That's to just permanently patch the firmware onto the device. But in this case, we're using a PSP Go, as you can see. And um, let's see, PSP Go, there it is right there. So we're gonna be using the Pro Update and the fast recovery. We're not going to use the CIPL flasher, but if you have a PSP 1000 or 2000 version 1 model, use the CIPL flasher after you install the Pro Update, and you'll have permanent custom firmware. So just looking at that right now, we can go back real quick, and I'll show you the SE plugins. These are all the SE plugins here. Um, this is what you put in your SE plugins folder. And uh, these are the fonts here and you can change your fonts in your recovery menu or the fonts on your system and things like that SDK it's all this fun shit which is pretty much useless to my standards so let's mainly just if you want you can take the SE plugins folder here and you can just drag and drop those fonts into the SE plugins folder but in the meantime let's just look at the updates so you want to be looking at the pro update fast recovery and CIPL flasher now on the PSP Go, for an example, I'm running on ME custom firmware. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to scroll over to the installer that you use. And uh, you're going to see the LME installer for 660. Click on that and start it up. You're going to want to uninstall the flashed items for the firmware. So we're going to go do that right now. Let this boot up really quick. What the fuck? I hate when this does this. Unless I just simply can't do it. I guess I can't. All right, well, anyways, it's going to ask you, uh, it's either going to be the triangle or the square button to uninstall. So I'm just going to hit square right here to uninstall. You're going to see it flash all this stuff. I can't show you on the screen. Uninstall complete, and it's going to automatically reboot in six seconds. Turn it back on, and it should turn back on to the Sony logo.
Sony Computer Entertainment should come up after you do the uninstall and you should be running unofficial firmware now. Clearly I am running unofficial firmware just because it's going to automatically go into USB mode and not detect any remote joy. So, I'm going to continue without scanning. Open this up and I'm going to come over to the folder that contains my shit. So, I'm using the... Uh, not the memory stick, but I'm using the HDD, the uh, media storage on the PSP. And I'm going to go to the PSP folder and the game folder. And I'm just going to go over here. And I'm going to take the Pro Update and the Fast Recovery. And I'm just going to drag and drop those into the PSP game folder. So those will copy over like that. Now again, I will say select the ones for your firmware that you're running on. Don't use any other ones, you will brick your PSP. So now that that's done, I'm gonna exit that. I'm gonna exit USB mode. I'm gonna come over here to the game section on the PSP. And I'm gonna scroll down and you're gonna see the pro update. It's gonna look like that. So I'm gonna start that up. Pro B by Team Pro, press X to launch custom firmware. So you're going to hit X to launch the custom firmware. It's going to flash all the stuff to the flash zero and hit X to start the custom firmware. Unplug this real quick and let it boot up. <coughs> Plug this on in and now you'll see that I'm on custom firmware. So I'm just going to go over here to the recovery menu real quick. And you can see the recovery menu right there. I'm going to scroll down to my configuration, and I'm just going to enable some stuff and disable some stuff. Skip the game boot. Blah, blah. Use slim color. Use version text. Uh, prevent hibernation. Back. Advanced. Do -do -do -do. That's all good. back here and let's scroll over system settings and scroll down to system information and you'll see that I'm running 6.60 Pro B10 now once you set up all your settings and everything for an example overclocking my CPU and all that fun stuff you're gonna go here and you're gonna scroll down now this is the update that I was showing you before this is what you're gonna look for when you install this this is the fast recovery once you set all your settings you're just gonna click on this and start it up and it's gonna make a fast recovery for you so instead of running the update and setting all your settings again you can just click the fast recovery here and it'll be all set ready to go just as you left it that's just in case your system crashes so again if you're using a PSP 1000 or 2000 model run the CIPL flasher and you won't need the fast recovery so like I said before uh, rate comment subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter, which is at DeathRain333. That's my Twitter page. Also, check out SoftwareReborn.com. The links, uh, the link for this file right here will be available for download to you. And that's how you install 6.60 or any other 6XX custom firmwares uh, Pro B10 on your PSP. So, take it easy, guys, and I'll talk to you later.